start with a petition challenging Wisconsin's school choice program. As we first told you last night, the petition filed on behalf of taxpayers and funded by the Minocqua Brewing Company Super PAC says the private voucher school program is devastating to Wisconsin's public schools and asked the Supreme Court to halt the programs before next school year. Wisconsin's school choice programs allow parents to send their children to private schools using all or part of the public funding set aside for their children's education. Nearly 55,000 students are enrolled in Wisconsin. And our Emily Riley spoke with those on both sides of the issue today, a big issue right now around the state. Let's talk first about those uh, filing the petition. What is their argument against these school choice programs? What don't they like? Right, I you know, spoke with the attorney that is filing the petition today and essentially he outlined the fact that there's uh, several of these students who are uh, choosing to go to uh, charter schools private schools anything through the wisconsin school choice program costs the public schools money because they have to provide aid for each of those students additional aid so it's coming out of the public schools which is a concern for him and also he was saying that years ago Wisconsin used to have some of the best public schools and now that's not so much the case and he's looking to put that effort in public schools again and that's kind of their goal. Okay you also talked with uh, Wisconsin the school choice today uh, what's been their reaction? Right so conversely they're saying that you know 55,000 students uh, use these schools that are charter private schools and that would you know they're looking to uh, move forward with this plan within the next school year. So that would be a very quick turnaround. And in that case, um, he was saying that these students would be very, you know, very quickly kind of ripped away from their schools. They'd be scrambling to go into the public schools. Or there's already a teacher shortage um, and it would just kind of be very chaotic and it takes that opportunity away from especially low income students and families um, to uh, go anywhere else than a public school. And school choice has been around in the state a long time. It started in the 90s in Milwaukee, 2013, uh, statewide. So, you know, it's been around a long time. Why now? So the attorney that petitioned it said be this year, this school year, mm. the voucher rate increased by 25%, which was the main reason for doing it now. Okay, why are petitioners bypassing the lower courts? They're going straight to the Supreme Court with this. Uh, and, and I guess uh, the second question, what happens next? Right, they went straight to the Supreme Court and essentially they said that's because they figured it was gonna go there anyway. Okay. This encompasses several districts within the state, so it's something that affects the entire state. And moving forward, you know, the next step, it really lies in the uh, state Supreme Court's hands if they want to take this petition and take it up as a lawsuit or not. And um, with that, that's when uh, the countering organization would take legal action against it. Okay, stay tuned. We'll, we'll, we'll keep a close eye on this. Emily, thanks. Look forward to your full story coming up tonight at six.